the Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project no map officials in Ebon states on 22nd January 2022 meet with the people of Onebon in Megu community in a Lake local government area in compensation dialogue on flood intervention fencing affected persons in the area. The state project coordinator Dr. Philip U. H. Agu in an interview said that this compensation issue has been handled satisfactorily by Governor Omai and have shown a lot of commitment and ownership as far as this new map is concerned, as he has doled out a total of 389 million naira for the payment of compensation to all project affected persons in the state. Uh, this compensation issue uh, has been handled satisfactorily. In fact, the governor has shown a lot of commitment, a lot of ownership, a lot of commitment uh, as far as this new, uh, new map is concerned. He has doled out the total sum of 388, just approximately 389 million naira for the payment of compensation, compensation to all the project affected persons that uh, are along within the corridors of this uh, of all the intervention site. The total length of the intervention site is 19.13 kilometers. And the governor has been able to uh, provide the counterpart funds that are needed because that aspect of the, of the job is the responsibility of the state government. So he has been able to live up to the expectations of both the World Bank and the federal government of Nigeria as far as that uh, uh, responsibility is concerned. So he has been able to provide a uh, counterpart fund, and we've been taking care of uh, paying compensation to all the project affected persons, to all the uh, involuntarily displaced persons. It is not really easy to be able to convince the project affected persons. You know, it takes quite a lot of uh, it takes quite a lot of uh, uh, this thing for them to agree to uh, move from where they were originally uh, uh, staying. So we've been trying to convince them. Uh, and that is exactly what we did today. We invited those who are going to be affected by this project at the downstream uh, of EU Dele to begin to engage them, to begin to talk to them on the need of accepting that uh, they need to move to be able to give way for this water. Because what we are doing here is that at the end of the completion of this project, you will see that the volume of runoff will increase the volume of water will increase, and it will have its toll at the downstream. Its effect will be felt much at the downstream. And there are some villagers that are there, and we are trying to convince them. Uh, the governor has, in this last lab, the governor has approved and released the sum of 38 uh, million, um, uh, 800 and something, just uh, approximately 39 million, million uh, has been doled out to pay compensation to all these project affected persons. Comrade Mwetechi, the secretary on a Bonyi in Megu community in a Baklika local government area said they feel so bad because they are so much affected by the fraud intervention facing. Mwetechi, the secretary on a Bonyi in Megu community in a community government area. We feel uh, so bad because uh, one, we are so much affected and uh, why we are angry with the NUMAP uh, uh, officials. There is no amount of money you will pay to someone in his ancestral home that will make him to, he will not feel okay. One, he can't protect, we know the cost of land now. How much will we pay us to purchase land or to build? Our eight mothers, since they came in, they, those that are not sick, they have fall sick. So, and there are another challenges that we have seen that we will face is that if you watch the, the water channel, it's about uh, uh, 30 feet. So it will be a death trap to our children, even to our aged ones. Mr. Clement John, one of the affected persons, said that after the project is completed, their children will be caught inside the house as the place is a village. What uh, uh, map made us to know that they will meet up, make us better than us, they meet us not to make us worse. This one is making us worse as the, as the meters. Okay, what do you think will be the effect of the, Our children will not be... Nobody will leave his children or her children to uh, any place. It's like he will be caging them inside the house. 
that is village. So it's deadly to us. The governor of the state, Engineer David Umai, who was represented in the meeting by Honorable Commissioner for Land and Survey, Emmanuel Ogro, said that the dredging has demified us as a bunny, individually and collectively. That's about three to four years ago. That if anybody know, know what they went through along Onwe Road and other places. I came here on the directive of His Excellency the Governor to come and then sit with our brother, Dr. Echebu, who is the director of the uh, new map project in the Bonny State on the issue of uh, compensation to the sundry persons in the affected areas where dredging is being done in the Bonny State. The dredging actually has uh, indemnified us as a Bonny. Uh, individually and collectively from uh, the debris of what we were going through. Uh, about three, four years ago, if anybody knew what we went through along the way road, we were not passing there. And many other places, it was like we were already getting submerged. And uh, of course, it has to do with nature. The nature can be controlled by way of what they are doing. And um, to a great extent, we are heaving a very big sigh of relief today that um, uh, we are already being saved. And uh, no wonder people say, so is anything good? We still come out of Nazareth. Now something good is coming out of a Pony State. Courtesy of His Excellency the Governor, courtesy of uh, World Bank, courtesy of some other agents. Honorable Ogro said the project was in terminated by last June and he is a witness and is the intervention of the governor that we are still under grace. You see, you see Dr. Chegu was talking about uh, termination of this project by March or May. It was terminated by last June. Yeah. I'm a witness. I was commissioner for environment and it is me and him that we are going there. But incidentally that I mean land. nothing can be done without the land. And so in the meeting we went two years ago, all over Nigeria, it ended by last June. And that was the period of this segment. And up till now, there hadn't been any second place or third place or whatever. It's just out of grace, like he said, by last month. I mean, within a few weeks ago, the governor met the country director of World Bank in Nigeria. And uh, graciously, we are under disgrace for this to be done. There's nobody who has a thinking faculty that we go around. And I was explaining how lands are being reclaimed, salvaged, and people can now hear sigh of relief. All the same. Honorable Emmanuel Ugro, in his own view, said that no matter how beautiful the project is, he said these are villagers who do not understand what is happening to them. They believe in their land and they do not know that what is happening is what gives value to the land. No matter how beautiful the job is, these are villagers who still have not understood what is happening. To them, they believe in their land. And that land, they don't know the value. They don't know what is happening and gives more value to the land. Look at the Abakaliki capital city, especially St. Mary's. Nobody knew it would be that way. Or Brunish, you saw a Kadobo check your problem. So, that place was very again, was so many things bush. But you can now appreciate how appreciative the land has appreciated that one plot of land. Is now greater than so many hectares anybody was claiming. By so many implications, our people should have been happy except for ignorance. And that ignorance is the main, the end thing for which I will blame them. And that's why it took me almost one hour to educate those who would want to hear me. The Commissioner for Environment, Honorable John Eber, urged the people to allow the flood intervention fencing to pass through the community. 
as there is a flood that pulls down house and there is a wall that draws anybody that come across it. He speak in a local language. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel Dimiro TV on YouTube, Dimiro on Facebook, DMC TV and Co on Facebook page. Subscribe and follow us on this channel as we give you the latest as it happens here in Abai State and outside the state. For sponsorship, call this line showing on the screen or email us on the email showing on the screen on bamsylvester.gmail.com. Thank you and God bless you as you subscribe.